Hello, time for another virtual dose of astrophysics. Today I'll begin with the satellite environment plot. I've noticed some time ago that there are some geomagnetic disturbances taking place almost each day at similar time, between 4 and 6 in the morning. It seems that those disturbances are the cause of the elevated KP index in last couple days. After checking the ACE solar wind readings, I can tell that those disturbances are not connected with the activity of Sun. Although the velocity is currently elevated, the magnetic field seems to calm down after the latest outburst of solar flares and CMEs. But now it's time for the latest seismic activity. First, 5 magnitude earthquake in northwest Canada, right in the area of enhanced emission of active gases. Those are the readings from 25th of August. But when we'll check more recent data, we will notice that this emission disappeared a couple days ago. This can mean that the pressure under the surface grew high enough to cause the quake. It seems as well that around the time of quake there was a visible backside reconnection followed by plasma outflow. The problem is that it is impossible to see how the outflow affected the ionosphere, as during almost the entire day there was a lot of disturbances on the HMF2 monitor. On the neutral gas temperature monitor, we can see that the ionosphere was during this day heated seriously by the space weather influence. But there are no doubts that the temperature was increased above the epicenter. I should actually begin with the 5.8 magnitude quake in Greece, as it took place a couple hours earlier on the same day, at 3.45 UTC. It seems that by coincidence there was another plasma outflow at the same time.
Although I couldn't find any magnetic connections on the ionosphere monitors from ISWA, I found even better confirmation on satellite images. On METOP air mass composite we can see clearly two opposite field lines, a clear sign of magnetic connection. It is visible that at the time of quake, Greece was connected to the open polar cap field lines. Another events from the same day, which are worth to be noticed, are those sudden geomagnetic pulses recorded by Norway magnetometer stations. Bigger one, which took place just before midnight, reached around 400 nanoteslas. Notice that closer to the polar cap, the disturbance was much smaller. Similar jolt was recorded as well in Canada, but more than three hours later. 22 hours later, similar geomagnetic pulse was recorded by Norwegian line magnetometers. Earlier, on 30th of August, Around 12 UTC, a big low-energy proton spike was recorded by GOES satellites. It seems that August didn't want to end without a spectacular goodbye. Those powerful impulses on the MIMIC TPW map were not connected with solar activity, as at this time there was nothing at ACE solar wind readings what could explain those disturbances. However, there can be some connection with the spikes on GOES proton flux graph, which were recorded at the same time. From more recent news, it seems that the geomagnetic disturbances are still taking place every day, except the time of increased solar activity. Just like on 2nd September, during the beginning of proton event, which was caused by a backside solar flare. It seems as well that those daily jolts are getting pretty strong. On 3rd of September, this sudden impulse reached 250 nanoteslas in Canada. However, it seems that in Europe, the strength of those daily disturbances is similar, although it is being recorded a couple hours earlier than in Northern America, what is probably connected with the rotation of Earth. Time to look at the sun. There was a M2.5 flare which took place on the incoming limb. Earth probably won't be affected by this eruption. Much more interesting things are taking place on the Earth facing disk, where we can see two coronal holes with opposite polarities. Earth is currently connected to the positive field lines on the departing limb but soon we can expect that the polarity of IMF will switch to negative current flow. In the last couple days, the amount of disturbances on the ACE low energy proton graph is visibly increased. What can be connected with the cosmic rays, which started to behave odd in last couple days? Whatever is the cause, it has visibly affected Schumann resonance. Voila! Couple hours after I've said about incoming flip of IMF polarity, Enlil recorded a clear shift to the positive side of heliosphere. However, it seems that it's not all, as not so long ago the phi angle of ACE magnetic field graph returned to the previous state and right now it dropped to zero. All those magnetic changes affected probably the cosmic rays activity, as the density started to drop pretty fast in last hours. In the meantime, the daily geomagnetic disturbances on satellite environment graph are still taking place just as before. Although according to NOAA, the KP index is low, ground magnetometers show something different. It seems that the geomagnetic field is far from being stable and the disturbances reached more than 200 nanoteslas. The fact that the strength is bigger further from the northern polar cap 
shows that the jolts are not caused by solar wind. Interesting. It seems that while the flux of protons at higher energies is slowly coming down, the amount of particles at lower energy bands is growing. Maybe there was some kind of connection with the region where the last M-class flare took place. But even more interesting is the fact that the sunspot on incoming LIMP have the same configuration over both hemispheres, with leading positive polarity. It is probably caused by the placement of positive heliospheric pole, which is currently located on the Earth-facing disk instead of Northern Hemisphere, what means that the solar cycle still didn't finish. I've tried to look for some possible cause of those daily geomagnetic jolts on ground magnetometers and the only thing which I've managed to figure out are the disturbances on HMF2 monitor which seems to fit to the readings from Norway and Canada. As you can see, the disturbances are taking place almost every day at similar times. For the end, a small look at the magnetosphere which is affected by the latest flip of IMF polarity. Class dismissed. Be safe. Peace.